the unanimous response to the crisis in Libya here in the Human Rights Council and at the United Nations Security Council is nothing short of remarkable. The international community came together in a way it has not done before, setting aside differences in the face of a challenge to the very notion of what we instinctively regard as the basic rights of humankind, the right to be free from terror and oppression, the right to life, and the right to raise, gather, and express views without the dread of violent retribution. Today we have signaled that crimes will not be condoned, will not go unpunished, will not be forgotten. And this is a warning to anyone contemplating the abuse of human rights in Libya or in any other country. Stay at your hand. There will be a day of reckoning and the reach of international justice can be long. We have to um, uh, see how a 60-day ban can be implemented, but we're very sympathetic to that. Uh, clearly, uh, uh, I mentioned earlier the importance of stopping the flow of finance uh, into the uh, regime. And so that uh, proposal, if we can work it out uh, successfully, uh, could be part of that. Um, on the question of a no-fly zone, well, there are many options uh, on the table uh, for the future. Such things should be kept on the table. Uh, but we have to remember that in order to, to, in order to have that in place, we would have to have very strong international support uh, and be sure that we had the means of enforcing it and that it would have clear objectives and be effective uh, in saving lives.